this is Aiden's Toy Trove, and I am here today with our one, two, three, four, five mid-year releases. There was supposed to be a sixth, and his name is Calavera, and he is the Halloween horse. However, there was a production delay with Calavera, so we don't have him in hand yet. These are the five that we received, and the shipment came in just before Briarfest, so these are getting ready to ship out now just after Briarfest. Um, please get in touch with us if you ordered a Calavera along with uh, the mid-year release, and we'll see what you want to do combined shipping-wise. But mostly I wanted to show you guys the beautiful new uh, mid-year releases. This one is Cosmos. He is the classic Lipids Honor mold in a kind of a, a pearly white gray. And then he has purple or lavender shading on his mane, his legs, and his tail. Uh, he's very pretty. He appears to be um, a, um, a like a chalky with a pearl color. He's not bare white plastic as far as I can tell. So I'll just leave him right there for you and I will just read you a little bit about him. Briar says that Pegasus, the mythical winged horse, is a beloved figure in Greek mythology associated with thunder and lightning and a known symbol as a symbol of wisdom and inspiration for poetry. Cosmos is a beautiful Pegasus with a pearly lavender coat that shines as brilliantly as the constellation of stars named Pegasus. So that is Cosmos, the 2017 uh, one of the 2017 media releases. Another one that I'm totally super excited for is this number 9149 Manowar. This is the awesome 100th anniversary uh, special edition of Manowar. He is on the classic Manowar mold, but he does have a different color than the original release. Uh, he has quite a bit more shading. Um, I'm anxious to get one of these guys out of the boxes and see if I can get my hands on one of the originals so that uh, we can compare the uh, the original and this anniversary edition. So here is what Briar has to say about Manowar. In Manowar, his name, now synonymous with racing glory, had a brief but impactful career. In the two years he raced, he won an incredible 20 out of 21 races. Nicknamed Big Red for his tall stature and rich chestnut coat, the big horse with the big stride became an equine celebrity. His star status was boosted by the last race of his career against Sir Barton. Sir Barton was the first winner of what would become known as the Triple Crown, and Manamore prevailed by seven lengths. After retiring to stud, he continued to leave his mark on the sport by siring 64 stakes winners. His champion progeny include 1937 Triple Crown winner War Admiral, British Grand National winner Battleship, and Seabiscuit sire Hardtack. Manowar is considered one of the greatest racehorses of all time. He is buried at the Kentucky Horse Park in Lexington, Kentucky, underneath an impressive bronze statue of his likeness. And uh, we just returned from Kentucky, and they had a bunch of these wonderful horses for sale, and they had some a beautiful statue of Manowar. Just beautiful. So those are the two classics. Uh, we'll move on to, let's see here. How about PVF Peace of Mind? This is a Morgan Mare. She is on the Marabella Mole. She's a really pretty, rich red bay. Um, she's quite a bit different from any of the other Marabellas that I have seen. Sorry, excuse me, Rachel. I'll get these guys out of the way for you. Um, I don't think there will be any mistaking her with any of the other bay Marabellas that have been produced so far. So here is what Briar has to say about PVF Peace of Mind. Horses that compete in combined driving events are the triathletes of the carriage driving world. Their competitions have three phases, dressage, cross-country marathon, and cone driving. Each phase tests the horse and driver's versatility and athleticism. One of the biggest names in combined driving is Susie Stafford. A devotee of her sport, she's won numerous world and national championship titles and is the first American driver to have won a world championship. She's making history again with her equine partner, PVF Peace of Mind, known as Honey. The 2007 Morgan Mare is the number one combined driving horse in the country, and she and Stafford won the national championships in 2015 and in 2016. They were also three times FEI, two-star advanced single horse champions at Live Oak International. In recognition of her achievements, Honey was named the USEF's 2015 International Horse of the Year the first time a Morgan received the honor, and the only the second time a combined driving horse was chosen. To top off an amazing year, Honey was also inducted into the Equus Foundation USEF Hall of Fame. Without a doubt, Stafford and Honey will continue to dominate their sport. Wow, what an amazing Morgan there. Now she has a really gorgeous uh, rich, rich, rich red bay coat. Uh, it's not flat bay, 
so she has a lot of darker shading that you don't see on the original original release of Marabella she has uh, detailed eyes you can see the little eye white peeking out there she does not have any white markings not on her face and not on her feet um, she's a base so no dorsal stripe or anything like that and this is the back of her box she's really pretty um, this has to be one of the nicest colors I think um, that has been released on the Mirabella mold so good job Briar this leaves us with two horses uh, the next one I'd like to uh, show you guys is Cobra Cobra is um, a Mustang and he is on the flash mold he has brands on the left side of his neck and his left hip. I'm not sure about the offside, but maybe Briar will tell us a little bit more about that. And this fellow is a dark, 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 dark bay, much darker, well, not much darker, but definitely um, a different shade than the original Flash, and he has the freeze brands. He, in case you can't see, I know it's kind of hard to see, he has four little, little white socks and natural colored hooves. His left hind hoof there has um, some striping on it. And then he has detailed eyes and he has no white markings on his face. And uh, I'm not sure about his other side. So well, let's see what Briar has to say about Cobra. Cobra, Mustang gelding Cobra has been beating the odds ever since he met a trainer willing to take a chance. Born in the wild in 2004 and gathered with his herd, Cobra was passed over three times for adoption, making him a three strikes Mustang who would likely live out his life in a BLM facility. His future changed when he was adopted by Marsha Hartford Sapp from the 2010 Supreme Extreme Mustangs Makeover, a competition where trainers gentle and train Mustangs in 100 days. After successfully competing in the makeover, Marsha began training Cobra in dressage. In 2013, they started competing in the United States Dressage Federation shows, and within six months, they scored enough points for Marsha to earn USDF's bronze and silver medals. From that point on, things only heated up. In 2015, Cobra was named USDF All-Breed National Champion at FEI Pre-St. George's, the 2015 Western Dressage World Champion, and the 2015 USCF Horse of the Year. Marsha and Cobra are still competing and spreading the word that Mustangs, even those with three strikes, are not only adoptable, but also capable of talented partners. Wow, what a cool story. So, Cobra is a super duper awesome dressage Mustang who was given a second chance. Isn't that cool? Uh, I like this one. I like, I like, like, like him and I really enjoy the horses with the, uh, the stories behind them. So I enjoy when Briar releases, um, horses with a story or portrait models. So the last one I have to share with you is Slick by Design. This is the Smart Chick Olina mold and he is in black. He has a detailed um, eye or detailed eyes with eye whites. He has a teeny weeny little star and he has one small um, black sock on his right hind pastern along with a natural colored hoof. I don't see any other markings on him. He looks fairly um, flat black in color. Not a, like boring, like, but um, not a smoky black like you see on Thunderstorm and um, some of the other models like that. Um, this one I will be deboxing because he will be going to a friend and he needs to be deboxed first. So let's see what Briar has to say about Slick by Design. Slick by Design. Barrel racing is an exciting sport that requires speed, agility, and precision. Competing against the clock, a horse and rider dash in a cloverleaf pattern around three barrels before galloping through the finish. Slick by Design, a 2007 quarter horse, is the all-time money-earning barrel racing stallion. Slick has amassed lifetime earnings of over 560,000 and counting and holds the national finals record for the fastest stallion to ever run, 13.48 seconds. He's also won 19 Women's Professional Rodeo Association Championships and is an American Quarter Horse Association World Champion to boot. While many horses with his track record would likely be retired to stud, Slick is both siring the next generation of winners and competing for owners Jason Martin and Charlie Cole with champion rider Michelle McLeod in the saddle. Between 2015 and 2016, he and Michelle won three rounds at the NFR, bringing home over $150,000. The pair will keep competing to continue his winning ways. Wow, what an amazing horse. So 
So I'll just get you another close up there. Uh, the lovely slicker by design. Uh, we do have these mid-year releases in stock and available for order on our website, so I will go ahead and put a link down below. Again, the um, Halloween horse, um, who was named Calavera, he had a production delay, so he will not ship from Briar until August, but we are also getting him. Let's just line all these horses back up for you all to take a look at. <clears throat> So I'd love to hear who your favorite 2017 mid-year release is. I think for a lot of you, it will be the Halloween horse, but we don't have him yet, so let's just exclude him from the vote for now. Okay, so we have uh, Cobra, Mustang Magic, PVF, Peace of Mind, the 100th Anniversary Manowar, Cosmos, the Pegasus, and Slick by Design. And those are the 2017 Briar Mid-Year releases. Maybe I'll just tilt this camera up just a smidge so you can see them all. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Thanks for watching.